Whether it's a farmer's market or the produce section of your favorite grocery store, apples are one of the most popular fruits in the world. After all, who doesn't love applesauce, apple fritters, apple pie, or apple cider? Well, here in New Hampshire, apples are also a major part of an historic harvest. From Gravenstein to Golden Delicious, Macintosh to McCoon, with 40 different varieties, this may well be New England's epicenter of apples. Welcome to Applecrest Farms in New Hampshire. On this brilliant fall weekend, thousands of apple lovers are gathering to enjoy some guitar and banjo picking, then heading to the orchards to do a little picking of their own. Go slow, pick the good ones. It's become a tradition for hundreds of families throughout New England. I've been doing it for years, it's a blast. I've been cutting here since I was a kid, so it's always fun, just a good time. This is actually my third time here. And this is my first time for riding a pony. From pony rides, to pumpkins, to pie eating contests, to stuffing your face with roasted corn on the cob, or stuffing a scarecrow. It's all part of the yearly Applecrest Fall Festival, an event dating back nearly four decades. This is just such a typical New England uh, event to go apple picking, yeah. I love it. This land that you see has been farmed for hundreds of years. Todd Wagner grew up on Applecrest Farms. It was purchased by Todd's grandfather back in the 1950s, but its roots go back to 1913, when a New Englander named Walter Farmer planted the very first apple trees. Farmer raised chickens in these coops while he waited seven years for the trees to mature and bear fruit. These trees that you see here were part of the original planting back in 1913. So 100 years and still, as you can see, like a pretty incredible crop. That's a nice crop in here. Look at the size of those apples. Though Todd and his dad, Peter, grew up here, both spent years away from the farm. Peter in business, Todd as a filmmaker. But something drew them back to a lifestyle they missed more than they knew. My wife and I thought about it uh, and said, that's not a bad way to bring up a family. It's not a bad way to live a life. Being outdoors and doing what you want to do and feeding the world with apples. I live in the house that my grandparents lived in and I like that connection to the history. And it gives you a sense of place and it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. What are 25? <laughs> Continuing the agricultural tradition of Applecrest Farms means adopting new strategies and finding ways to profit beyond simply growing apples. The Wagners still produce thousands of bushels for retail sale, but actually reduced the size of the orchards, replanting many acres with two dozen different kinds of fruits and vegetables. In addition, it meant growing their agritourism business. Things like their fall festival, which provides a steady source of revenue unaffected by uncertain commodity prices. I can't imagine my grandfather or grandmother could have ever have imagined back then that those festivals are really what keep us afloat. Like most pick-it-yourself farms, Applecrest has some food favorites that draw folks back every year. Cider donuts made fresh daily, homemade ice cream, fresh apple cider, and oh, those apple pies. I think it's just like a second home to me. Yeah, I've been it here is. forever. Meet Evelyn Tuttle and Gertrude Eaton. The sisters haven't really been here forever. Just 60 years for Evelyn and 45 for Gertrude. Talk about roots. Their dad was Walter Farmer, the original owner who planted the farm's first apple tree. Every fall for the last quarter century, Gert and Evelyn have baked close to 500 pies each weekend close to 200,000 in all. So what's it like working with your sister day in and day out all these years? Oh, fine. I mean, we don't fight. Once <laughs> in a while we do, but not very often. So do you eat pie at home? No. <laughs> Probably don't. we should say yes. <laughs> Gert and Evelyn. It's incredible what they do. They're intricately entwined into the fabric of this farm and this land, and um, they give their heart and soul to this place. Good job. Such loyalty and longevity aren't hard to find here on the farm. Yeah, Chris has been, this is your six? Six years. Oh, wow. As the Wagners celebrate their farm centennial, they cherish their own family bonds. 
and celebrate traditions they help other families create. We have a couple of people who have been engaged. They were married here, and now they bring their kids here. We've got grandmothers with their kids and their kids. We've, we've had four generations before. And they all say thank you. They say thank you for still being here. Thank you so much. And that's our intention. That's what, I mean, we want to be here. We want to be here forever. And that's uh, it's a hard thing to say, forever is a long time. But that's, uh, we want this farm to keep on going.